So someone had to watch over her tables until she could get a ride to work. Look, did you just forget how to use a phone or something? I mean, you could have called. We're just sitting here waiting on you to eat. No, I didn't forget how to use a phone. Well, why didn't you use it then? We were busy. I kept getting new customers in the door. I didn't know it was such a huge deal. Yeah, I bet you were busy. You're getting busy in the backseat of some dude's car. Henry Jackson! Hey, I'm just saying we all know. Everybody in town knows she's a goddamn slut. It ain't no secret. I am not! God, what? Just because people want to hang out with me and nobody wants to hang out with you? Well, from what I hear, everybody likes you. You've been hanging out all over the damn place. <laughs> Do you hear this, Mom? Do you hear what he's saying to me? Say something! Yes. All right. I am tired of this. I'm checking on dinner. Yeah, because whenever there's a problem, you just walk away. Thank you so much for your support, Mom. And you. What? You have no right to judge anyone, much less your own daughter. Sitting around here drinking all day. Come in. Oh, are you okay? They hate me. Baby, nobody hates you. It's the alcohol. It makes him mean. <laughs> Why can't she say something? Because your mom is sick. Honey, she can't even help herself. The good Lord will make things right. <sighs> I can't stay here. It is hard to make it on your own. <laughs> and there are bad people out there. <laughs> I don't care. Any place is better than this. I beg you. City Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall says the city is on track to have one of the highest murder rates in more than a decade. So police are trying to come up with ways to stop the violent crime. I'm sorry, that position's been filled. Well, I'll do anything. I'll bust tables, wash dishes. 
I'm not picky. I'm sorry, we don't have anything. But come back in a few months when school gets out and I might have a couple hours for you. Okay. Thank you. Which is the, for the... So it's a hundred. Okay, yeah. I have so, right oh, I, I believe you. appreciates my business. Always down home, down the street. There are savings in every aisle. At Bigly Wig. Hi. Hi. I'm going to sell you real good. to a hundred dollars. I didn't agree to shit. No, 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 I need the money. I need the money! Fuck you! Friends call me Uncle Paul. When I asked your name, I meant, what's your alias? Alias? Yeah, your alias. If you're gonna do this, you can't use your own name. Yeah, like a stripper name? Oh, right. But I always thought if I was gonna be a dancer, I would call myself Candy. That was so fun, I almost forgot I was charging you. <laughs> it's in here. This is way more than I asked for. Worth every bit of it. Uncle Paul. You know, we could do it again before you go. I've got a business meeting to get to. So are you thinking about doing this just for some quick cash or for the long haul? I mean, I like making people feel good. I like making you feel good. I just know I'm not going home, no matter what. What's this for? Well, there's plenty on there. Um, you just go shopping, get you some dresses, some makeup and shoes, whatever you want. And then I'll have Sherry contact you. Who's Sherry? Sherry's an old friend. She'll keep you safe. We're gonna get you out of this place and into some place that's really nice where you can make some real money. Okay. Well what do I do next? Nothing. She'll be in contact with you. Who's the lucky girl this time? Well, I found a special one. 
They're all special, Paul. I mean, come on. I'm trying to run a business here, not a halfway house for amateur hookers. I know, I know. But this one really is. And she needs help. You know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. I know how it is because this is the part where you remind me you got me off the streets and you put me up in this place and you gave me my start. Yeah. And this is the part where I cave in, like I always do. But, yeah. Paul, listen, this is the last time. I promise. This is the last time. You must be Candy. Yes, ma'am. Are, are you Sherry? <laughs> Last time I checked. Paul sure knows how to pick them. Come on. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, Paul, he's a, he's a great guy. And he has done a lot for me. But you need to decide if this is something you really want to do. Okay. Because it's just like any other job. You show up on time, you do the work, and the customer always comes first. <laughs> Does the customer have to come first? <laughs> I understand. <clears throat> okay. Let's get you online. Come on. What are you doing? I'm creating a profile for you. It's kind of like a dating site for hookers and johns. All right, so here's the deal. I will answer all the emails and the texts. I will text you what time to be at work. My cut is $50. You set your own price per hour and your menu. Menu? What's a menu? It's what you will and will not do. In bed? Oh. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and strip off down to your bra and panties. I need to take some pictures for this. Okie dokie. Okay, let's... All right, sweetie, you need to do something kind of sexy, you know? This is a profile picture. Okay, that'll work. All right, so tomorrow I will take you by the office and show you around. Okay, first thing, when you answer the door in your birthday suit or your work clothes, be sure to stand behind the door. We don't want to give the neighbors a show. Work clothes? Honey, the lingerie Paul bought you. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. There are drinks in the fridge for the clients. Some guys like to sit and talk for a few minutes, but majority of them like to get down to business. Clean towels in the bathroom and the cabinet. Soap and shampoo for the guys that want to take a shower before they go back to work. Or their wives. And, listen, if a guy shows up smelly, you can tell him to go take a shower. Just because he's paying you for sex doesn't mean you have to deal with his B.O., all right? All right. Oh, dirty towels go in that basket. Got it. Mm -hmm. That's good. They are lining up to meet you. The other girls are going to love you. Are you sure? I'm new. I don't know. Yeah. And you might even make a new girlfriend. <laughs> Go ahead. You should. Hey, hey ladies. How are we doing? I want you to meet Candy. Okay. There's Angel. Okay. Dallas.
Hey Sherry, what's up? What? Who's she with? Where is she? Is she okay? Listen, tell the girls this may take some time to clear this up. I'll get back to you. Paul, long time. Oh, it has been a long time, Ted. Yeah, so what do we got here? Uh, the paramedics say it looks like a heart attack. Where's the girl? She's with a friend. All right, look, we'll take care of this from here. It's good to see you. Oh, hey, um, here's a little something for your favorite charity. Hey, Paul. How's it going? Yes. Well, Raven has an appointment around 3, but the office is open until then. Yeah, she's here. Uh, I don't know. Let me ask her. Paul wants to see you at noon. Yes, of course. <laughs> She'll be there. <laughs> she's all kinds of excited. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to you later. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Uncle Paul! <laughs> I missed you! How are you? Okay, just busy. Well, come on, let's go in the bedroom. Uh, just a minute. I want to talk to you about something. About what? Well, I came by to say goodbye. Goodbye? Where are you going? Well, a couple of business partners and I are starting a company in California. And I'm not going to be back for a while. But you are coming back. Sure, baby. I'll be back. Well, then let's make this one to remember. <laughs> Uh, I wish I'm tired and I've got to go. Be a good girl, okay? Okay. Hey Sam, how are you? Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sure. What's going on, Sherry? Paul is... Paul's... dead. His friend said he had a brain cancer and uh, committed suicide last night. I know. I know. I know. I, know. I love them too, okay? <sighs> no, listen. You have a client at 2 o'clock? So we can't cancel, All right? So go get ready, and then I'll clear your schedule for the rest of the afternoon, okay? In the evening, and, and we'll get drunk, okay? It's okay. It'll be okay. All right, it'll be okay. Just go, go.
Trust me, it's not Coming, baby. Yeah. And I said, You mean about everything? Do you have a birthday coming up? It's from Uncle Paul. What's that? It's a check. Seriously? It's for a million dollars. That's what it says. Grandma? Oh, it is so good to hear your voice. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fine. I'm outside. Outside? I am never stepping foot in that house again. Do you trust me? Well, of course I trust you. I want you to pretend the house is on fire and grab only anything that can't be replaced. <sighs> okay. So, are you going to tell me what's going on? It's a long story. I'll tell you on the way. The look inside of your eyes makes my soul start to burn. You ask me what I want, what I want. Where are you? We're home, Grandma. I said